come and get this va va boom boom. Hiya. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, I'm driving a lovely brown Renault. And the Renault has got quite a severe misfire. And it's got nowhere near the power it should have. And um, well, let's have a, have a look why. If we uh, plug in this cord reader, as you can see, only the best products used on this channel, we can see that we have a fault P0204. Doing a bit of research, that equates to number four in Jetter, I believe been open circuit and fucked now when you first start the car from cold it's all right until it warms up which that sort of points direction it's not wiring it's more likely to be the actual solenoid and the injector um, which uh, which is faulty so if we have a look at the engine we have a cover coming up the injector however these have already been removed there's two bolts there a nut there and a clip here which has already been removed we can lift that up and number four injector as you can see Um, is actually on Renault. I don't know why. Is it this end? So if I unplug this one, it should make no difference. And it's not making any difference. As you can see, this has already been fondled with the clip broke on the um, But that is the issue, I believe, is the object itself. So we have what should be a replacement and uh, a new injector seal on its way from the motor practice. So let's. Uh, Go ahead! Try to start taking that there. Right, so now the shit has turned off, you can probably hear me better. So as I said, for this cover, there's a bolt there, one there, a nut here. There's a bolt on this pipe at the back here, that's already half taken out in the clip there. And this pipe needs to come out of the way, which is on one of these clips. Or now I can lever that out with a screwdriver. The correct tool for the job, obviously. But yes. Yes. So now, as far as I'm aware, this pipe should pull out of that fitting, but it probably won't do. No, it seems that the clip actually has to be pulled all the way out for it to do that. And even with it all the way out, right, I needed two hands because I had to push this away as I pulled on the pipe. And as you can see inside there, there is an O-ring. So when that goes back together, we'll have to lube it well. So let's just hook that nice and securely there. Now all this shit does have to come off, but I'm hoping to struggle and not take that off. So let's remove this out of the way. There is wiring looms that were clipped onto it, which have been unclipped off it. At this point, I'm going to bring in the tripod because, well, I'm stopping getting seasick today if anyone's still watching. So I'm hoping that this will pull out of here without having to set more stuff off, but it does seem to be getting fouled up on other things. But with a bit of persuasion, it is off. And now we can see the injector. As you can see, it's still unplugged from when I unplugged it. So let's get that out of the way. There is a leak of pipe. So, now we have got, obviously we've got the actual high pressure fuel pipe connected to it, otherwise it'd never look good it. I think that's probably a 17 mm, so let's go and get one of them. Right, so we've got that off, and I'm assuming that you could see fuck all of it, so I've actually moved the camera using all the skills that I've learned as a YouTuber over the past couple of years, which as you know is fuck all, but I've got the camera, I've moved it into a place which means that you can see that I can't get to anything. So that means that you can probably see better than me now. All about the uh, the viewers here, you see. So now I'm doing this one from there. And will it move out the way enough to get the injector out? Probably not without breaking something. So I'm just going to undo it from the other end of the pipe onto the rail in the same manner. And now it is out of the way. Now if you look at the bolt holding the injector and it is only a 10 milli bolt. Now these are often, I don't know if they're on this car, I've not researched it, but if I can find out, I'll put it in afterwards. Probably a single use bolt, but I haven't got a new one, so this one isn't a single use bolt. But a lot of them are actually stretch bolts. So that is the bolt successfully removed nice and lovingly. And there should be a clamp, which 
should also be removed. Just using a gentle rocking motion, nice and carefully, to pull the clamp out. Yes, dropped it. Great success. And as we can see, that is the top because the bolt is shaped to fit into that nicely. Right, so now this injector should be ready just to pull out, and it should just pull out with your fingers. No, it's probably not going to pull out with your fingers. Um, diesel injectors pretty common for seasoning but i'm going to try my look and try and get it out with a pair of pliers and see that it's going to do nothing at all right we have got a bit of movement so we're in with a chance now if you get a bit of movement when you're doing this and you get lucky you just need to keep on doing it a little bit left and right well and just keep pulling it as you're doing it and pull it as hard as you can really ideally you would have an injector removal tool but i haven't got one to hand Yes. Yes. Right, so it seems that we did get quite lucky with that. The injector came out relatively easily. Um, the injector seal came out with the injector. I've got a new one of them on its way. But the injectors are in fact slightly different. So if we look at this, we can see that the numbers appear to be pretty much the same. Um, the injector itself isn't a whole lot different until you come to the leak off pipes now this is on a spring clip with a pushing fitting this one is just a pipe that pushes onto it so i'm going to stick the pipe onto here and hopefully it'll work but you'll find out when i do all right but before we get that far we need to clean out this where the injector sits because as you can see it is full of all rusty bits of shit now there is a tool to grind these out which i don't have so i'm just going to use an airline and i've got a compressor that reach so this is actually part of an air horn system for a van. But I'm using it to store air so I can blast all this shit out. Better. Now we have a new injector seal which can fit on there in a non sexual manner and then it can go in. Yes. Looks like it's flat anyway, so let's just see if it'll fit. And the fact that it is now a week later and snowing, and I've got a different injector, um, will tell you probably that that injector didn't fit. It was for a Euro 4 model, this is a Euro 5 model with a DPF shitter on it. So, I need to make a note of the cord on the top of it because this will need cording afterwards. But this one should at least fit, so let's put it in in the manner that we tend to put the other one in. Connect, connect that after actually. And as you can see, that fits beautifully. And unlike the other one, if I could have got the other one to fit, it could have burnt an oil in the piston or anything. So fitting the right one is probably the right way to go anyway. So as you can see, it's torqued down to specification. The high pressure fuel pipe is on, the low pressure fuel pipe for the return is on, but this plug is damaged. I'm just gonna try this, see if this will work. So I'm feeding a cable tie through this gap, yes. And then put that on there. And then pull this. And that cable tie was too small. So I've got a bigger one now. So let's see. And that cable tie is too big. And that cable tie is just right. Now, so as you can see now, I've got that fitted and I put this back on. I've skipped forward a little bit because it is absolutely freezing. So when putting that back in, it does help to spray it with a little bit of a, a bit of lube. Don't spray, you don't want to spray it inside so much because then the engine might run it. Probably won't do any harm. No, you don't spray too much, but I've sprayed it on the outside and then it should push in nicely, nice and lovingly, like so. And as you can see, I've even put the clip back on, which was just a reversal of when I took it out. I put these screws back in, so everything is effectively back together. The injector isn't corded in, but it should start. It might knock a bit, but it should start. So let's see what happens when we try and do that. Yes.
So far, it seems to be exactly the same. Well, it's smoothing out a bit now. Oh, it's smooth. And uh, it is, in fact, running on four cylinders. Now, it isn't... You know what? It isn't, it isn't too bad. It is a little bit diesel knocky. But that might be just because it's fucking freezing. Or it could be because the injecting is cording in. Now, I haven't got a scanner that's going to cord this car in, so I'm going to have to take it somewhere to cord the injector in, which I'm not going to be able to film. Um, so I'm just going to have to leave it here, I think. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the usual shit. And uh, I'll see you next time. And I'll just throw this bit on the end here, but unlike the Volvo that I did a bit ago, I did actually cord the injector on this. I did borrow a tool to do it. And as you can hear now, it sounds more like it should. As you can probably hear more from the outside, that's not knocking its tits off. Um, like I say, it was cold. I thought not might because it's cold, it might sort itself out, but it didn't until I called it in, until I got it di dialed in. So now it's all dialed in. It's uh, much better, much better. It seems to run as it should. So anyway, I think that is actually it for this one now. See you, bye.